Okay guys, here we go. Back at it. Building out this water bottle here. And um, I've got some weird stuff going on in the file that I wanted to address. Uh, I may have pressed the wrong button and tilted my view here in the perspective window. You can see here how it's not sitting perfectly flat. I'm just moving it around with my mouse. I can kind of feel that there's an issue. I definitely did that in another uh, window as well. Fortunately, I fixed it already. So, um, I just wanted to show you how to reset a view, uh, reset a window if you accidentally press the wrong button. So you can go here to the little tab right here and right click on it. It'll bring up the options for that viewport, and then you can just go to Set View, and then just reset the view to whatever window you're in. So I'm in the perspective window here, and so I'm just going to reset it to perspective, and you can see how that just kind of quickly shifts. Uh, the perspective and and gets this view back to the default so um, that can happen when you're playing around with uh, different hotkeys uh, you know using the shift and right mouse button with control and back and forth and especially when you get over into using SolidWorks on top of Rhino or at the same time um, it can get a little confusing using hotkeys and and just navigation in general can get a little cluttered in your head and so um, there is the possibility of, of tilting the um, <clears throat> the viewport so there's that okay uh, I want to take a look at this model from the side view and then I'll give you an example here looks like I've got another example this is supposed to be the front view now that should be a perfect side view but you can see here that I'm tilting it like it's in 3d view okay so I want to reset that one as well so I'll right click on the front view tab I'll go down to set view and I'll reset it to front <clears throat> and then it'll give me a perfect side view okay okay perfect there we go now um, everything's looking good on this design we performed our revolve uh, we've got a curve that's sitting in there right there uh, a couple things we didn't do in the last video is we did not uh, keep our file organized the way that we should so I want to go ahead and just grab the curve and I want to take that and I want to assign it to the curve layer there you go and I want to give that curve layer a semi-attractive color if I can. I'll just give it like a pale pink. There we go. Then we've got a surface here that's built off that curve. We're going to assign that to our surfaces layer. There we go. And we'll do the same with that. Perfect. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right. So that's looking good. All good. I'm going to hide the curve so we can just work on the surfaces. I'll probably go over to uh, perspective view here for this bit and um, I'll probably switch over to ghosted mode because what I'm going to do now is start to add some of the fillets on this thing some of the rounded edges okay I've purposefully built this thing with um, very sharp uh, what they call G0 um, <clears throat> edges uh, it's positional tangency which we'll talk about later um, anyway it just means sharp edges so uh, that's just uh, because I, I wanted to have a nice set of clean curves and I wanted to have kind of a, a just a, a basic model to work off of okay so this is all one single surface here so uh, we should be able to use um, one of the one of the fillet tools here let's just go ahead and get right into it let's go ahead and go over to perspective view I want to just congratulate everybody who's sticking with me through this. You know, this is an easy object to build, and I'm being really wordy about the build, and I'm focusing in on the details in, in kind of a just sort of a kind of a nitpicky sort of a way. So I do realize that this video is a little bit boring. You know, it's not like we're doing anything grandiose here, right? It's a revolve, but uh, to get it right is um, is what's hard to do, and using really precise measurements are is the way to do that so all right. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go to my boolean tool here and I'll get variable rate fit it, fill it and um, I'll take a look at this fillet size now I I did a little measurement on the water bottle itself and I think that this is this this radius here is going to be about uh, three <coughs> uh, millimeters so um, I want to do that um, it looks like this standard fillet tool is not working though. And uh, so I want to do, well, it looks like it will work now. There we go. So let's just uh, change the radius to three. Okay. And take a look at how that worked there. So it's it, it had one 
preloaded into it and that did not work. So if you put a fillet onto your model that you don't like, you just undo to get rid of it. And then when you reload that tool, uh, it'll take the, the new measurement that you added. So there we go. So that'll be like that. Mm -hmm. And it could even be bigger. Let's actually make it five. I'm gonna go crazy and we'll just play around here with this. I'm just gonna right click in my viewport area here to um, just uh, reload the fillet tool back on there. Now that one looks a little bit better. I think it's five on this edge and I think it's three on these interior edges. So. I'm going to turn the fillet tool back on with a right click, go to three, come in here, grab that edge there. Perfect. Let's do that again. Another three. And then we'll put another five on this edge here. So I'll turn the fillet tool on, switch it to five, come down here, grab that edge. Perfect. Just like that. Feeling really good about that. Okay. Come down here and why don't we put a three on here? Looks a little weak, guys. Let's try that again and just put a five around there. Still looks better, but you know, as I'm sitting here staring at this thing, it could even be more. What if we did like an eight? You can see how this works, right? We're designing now at this point. Just making decisions on our own. Perfect. That does look right, actually. And then it's definitely going to be like a three. What do I have? I have a five down here on the bottom, so. There we go, and then we can just wing it down here on the bottom. I'm probably gonna throw on like probably a one to this edge. Okay, and then a, another one here on this edge. There we go, and that'll be like that. Okay, so there's our fillets. All right, now I am, you know, a nerd about fillets, so I'll probably put a little eighth of a millimeter fillet right here on this edge. So let me just turn on the fillet tool again one more time. 0.125 is an eighth of a millimeter. Grab that edge there, and I'm just going to fillet that one out. Okay, cool. All right, feeling pretty good about that. Let's just do one thing here. I'm going to go ahead and save my work now, and... Um, save that file with all of its fillets and um, one thing I want to do is just I'm, I'm starting to get nervous you know about the the cap that we build I want to make sure that that cap is gonna fit onto this bottle even though I've been very nitpicky about my measurements I still want to do that so um, what I'm gonna do now that I've saved my file is I'll just go to file open and we're gonna grab the previous cap that we made and I'll select it all and I'm just gonna cut and paste it and then I'm gonna go file open and I'll open up the bottle file again and I'm gonna paste the cap into this file I'll go to a side view here and I'm just gonna use gumball to just push it right up and make sure that it fits and look at that and it does fit really really well Perfect. So I'm feeling great about that. It looks like it's a nice, clean fit. One thing that's annoying me a little bit, guys, the grid here. Uh, with the new bottle that we've built, um, the grid is not big enough. So we need to reset that. So I do want to show you how to do that. I think I've showed you it in other videos, but we'll go through it again. You can go to the Standard tab here, and you can go to the Options button here. Okay. And that'll bring up the options for your file and then you can go to grid and then you can set the grid line to something more like 500 okay and that will just expand the grid out a little bit more and the reason i wanted to do that is just to double check the gap here between the water bottle and then the cap itself so you can see here each one of these squares is a millimeter i've got about less than a millimeter between the two things so I want to make sure 
but this is going to be more like two millimeters. Because that's how it works in real life. Okay. And then we'll look at this in perspective. And we'll go to shaded. And just kind of take a look at our model. Let's go to rendered even. Oh, good. Okay, now we're coming up in a little bit of a problem here. <clears throat> Looks like the cuts that we made are a little bit too deep. And I did take some liberties with those cuts. So... I'm not <clears throat> very happy to see that. So I'm going to continue to take some liberties with this design. And instead of recutting this thing, which is going to be a lot of work, I think what I'll do is I'll just taper this thing down a little bit, this lid here. Um, so why don't I just take this, this guy here, and I'm going to make a new layer, and we'll just call it cap. All right. And this video is going to be about troubleshooting as well as adding fillets and final details. Okay. Uh, we'll take the cap, we'll put it on its own layer, okay? We'll turn it off, all right? This guy, too, can go on that cap layer. There you go. Okay. And it looks like I've got a straggler surface here on the cap. Okay, did that there. All right, cool. So um, we can turn this on and use it as a, you know, kind of a, just a guide. We'll go to ghosted right there like that. We'll go to the side view. <coughs> All right, cool. And what we can do is we just want to cut this. Uh, we just want to cut this surface down a little bit. So we've got it running as a revolve. We've got this set of surfaces here. I think I'll just use a polyline, and I'll just, gosh, I'm just gonna hack, you know, a good four millimeters off the top of this thing. So uh, I can use that trim tool we've used a million times before. And uh, cutting object is gonna be this line here. And uh, object to trim will be the top of this guy there. We'll just take that down. We'll turn the cap back on. Turn the on shaded view, rendered view. And uh, maybe we'll go over to perspective. Take a look at that. And that looks a lot better. Yeah, you can see that thing sitting inside of there too. That's nice. And so this thing is, you know, it's it's just needing to be adapted to our design process here. These side cuts were especially difficult to, to figure out, and so I don't feel too bad about this move we're having to make here. You might have something similar, so don't be afraid to put on your designer hat. Even though we're doing basic drafting project here, it is okay to um, adjust your model in, in, in a small amount. I mean, four millimeters isn't going to break the bank or anything like that. Okay. But what I'm really happy to see here is when we look at this thing from the side view that these edges match up perfectly and that's all good. So I do feel happy with this model still. So, okay, good. All right, we'll turn that off and we'll go to perspective view. And uh, that is going to um, give us an open uh, hole here on the top. And that's it's a good kind of point to bring up here. In order to turn this into a real product, we're going to need to create a wall thickness here. And so we can use the offset surfaces command uh, to offset all of this. Oh boy, excuse me. Take a look up here at my command line here. It looks like my trim tool is still on. Uh, it's asking me, select the object you want to trim. And when I click on the model, it just sliced it in half right there. So I'm undoing that and I'm going to hit escape to drop that tool. And uh, let's get back over to this idea of adding this wall thickness here. Okay. so. Just checking that this surface is, you know, joined and merged together into one solid form. And then the offset surface command is under surfaces tool, surface tools. It's right here. If you don't remember where it is, you can always just type in the word offset, and then it'll give you all the offset tools that you need. There's offset surface right there. It's going to ask you to select the surface you want to offset and then um, press enter when you're done. Okay. It's going to give you this semi intimidating array of arrows to show you the direction that it's going to offset. We don't want it to go out. Remember, because the way that it lines up with the cap, we want it to go in. So we're going to flip that. So we'll say flip all. Okay. And then we're going to say the distance is one. This is going to be a one millimeter wall thickness on the interior of this thing. And, you know, I haven't cut into it yet to 
figure out what the actual wall thickness is, but we'll start with one. I'm just guessing that it's a smaller wall thickness because it's a squeeze bottle. And so you want a smaller wall thickness with something that you have to um, squeeze. So it's a high elastomer plastic uh, with, um, with a smaller wall thickness. Low density polyethylene is the type of plastic, by the way. Cool, so the distance is set and direction's good. So we'll just hit enter. And it's going to think about that for a second because it's doing a lot of math inside there. Okay. Everything seems to have worked well. Let's just zoom in and take a look. Perfect. We got our wall thickness sitting in there nice and pretty. All is good. Looks fantastic. Now, if you are unhappy with your wall thickness at this point, um, <clears throat> this is the time to make your case to change it okay so you're going to want to just hit Control z and undo that and then you can right click to reload the offset surface tool and you can perform another offset if it looks wrong okay so um, for me it looks okay you know i'm feeling fine with it i might just add <clears throat> just a little bit like 1.25 i mean a quarter millimeter um oops Escape, flip all, distance, 1.25, good. Um, the reason I mention that is because we're here in Rhino and we do not have a parametric environment to work off of, meaning once you perform this operation, in order to change it later on, after you get a few undos down the road, then it's going to take a lot more work. So you want to catch it now. So you want to just really, you know, go for it. So, all right, we're looking good with that. That looks nice. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my good old surface from planar curves to cap this hole at the top. So we'll go one. Oh, and look, it's being so annoying. Excuse me. It worked. I just needed to hold down shift and select both sides of that interior surface there. And it's going to cap all of that. And so what we'll do is just join this together with a quick join. So I'll just select it first and then hit join. And all is good. Looks perfect. I'm going to put these surfaces on the surfaces layer. There you go. Do a render. Perfect. Double check that the cap still fits. Nice. We'll go to the front view. About two millimeter gap between these. Change this to wireframe. All right. Feeling good about that. All is looking nice in here. I'm just checking the distance between this wall here and the exterior here. It's looking fine. Cool. And there you go. I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I think we have uh, done a lot. Uh, last moves we need to make on this thing, if you do look at the water bottle, there is a little slice down the side that's transparent. And so I do want to um, actually make that cut, at, or it's going to be a split, as a matter of fact, and, and then separate that, sl that change in material out uh, so that we have something to work with in key shot. But we're getting really close to this thing being done, so... I'd like to say again, thank you so much for following along with this tutorial series. This one is uh, not what I would call high excitement, but definitely, uh, hopefully you're picking up some tips and tricks along the way. So anyway, see you in the next one, guys. Okay.